G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today I have my backup winter hammock with me. And the reason I've got the backup one is I wasn't happy with the one I've been setting up for this winter. We've put in the winter sock on it from Dutchware. The winter sock is made for a 10 foot hammock where the tied jungle hammock is only about nine feet in length. So you've got a lot of extra material on it, which is hanging down into the hammock when I used it the other night. And it was just, how can I put it, it was a pain. <laughs> the bog net was hanging into my face when I pulled that up the actual material that was falling into the hammock. So what I've decided to do with that one is order material. I've ordered bog netting as well. I've just got to order a zip and I'm going to make a custom one just for that hammock. And because there's a ridge line in it, there's a set length. So I don't need any extra length to the winter sock. And I'll be making it slightly deeper so there's a bit more room underneath. So look out for that, that's coming soon. But the hammock I've bought with me, the backup one, is the Sea to Summit Pro Single Hammock. And I have a winter sock on that too from Dutchware, which is made for a 10 foot hammock. And the Sea to Summit Pro Single is a 10 foot hammock. So it fits on there quite nice. So I'm walking on the Bibbulmun track at the moment from the Discovery Centre and I'm just heading down to the Ball Creek Shelter. So when I get there, I'll get it out, get it set up and we'll take a look at it. Here we are at Ball Creek Shelter on the Bibbulmun track. A beautiful morning and a beautiful location. Here we have it, my backup hammock. And we have the double-ended stuff sack, which is a very similar color to the Sea to Summit Pro hammock I've got in here. So here we go, let's show you what we've got. Yep. Next thing we have is the suspension straps. And tree straps. And in there we have the Sea to Summit Pro single hammock with the Dutchware winter sock on it. We have a Sea to Summit gear sling underneath that. What else have we got? I'll show you when we get it out, but I'll go and find a couple of trees and put it up and we'll go over it. Okay, we'll call this take two. Take one was well, about 50, 60 meters that way and the ant's nest decided it didn't like me there so it just swarmed and attacked me so i was doing the old dance whilst i was taking the hammock down stuffing it in the bag and bringing it down here where there's very few ants if any i can see at the moment so fingers crossed so take two then is i'm going to take you and show you how i set it all up what straps how they are attached to the tree how they're attached down to the hammock struts suspension straps and how it's attached to the actual hammock first. So same as most straps there's a loop on the end so all we do is take this pass it around the tree through the loop and then it comes down to this buckle here and this is an aluminium buckle and from the tree strap aluminium buckle I won't say that too often now it goes into the suspension strap buckle and that's it, no tie knots, just put it through, twist into place and that's done. And then that comes down the suspension strap to a buckle on the end of that, another one. And if you look closely, you can see there's a picture of a tree and an arrow. Now they have to be on top facing the tree where it's connected. Because if you don't, it's gonna come undone. 
and I got a second back up is this blue piece here and you shove that right up to where the two buckles are and it locks it in place and as you can see there there's another buckle connected straight to the strap which is connected to the hammock itself and you can just there before we open up and show you we've got the structural ridge line which I made for this hammock myself and it's all the same on this end apart from having my stuff sack there and this point you could add a carabiner to make it easier so you can just click it in place winter sock and as you can see this one fits a lot better on this hammock as I said the other hammock the torrid jungle hammock is only about nine foot and he's pulling up and tightening up but the Cedar Summit Pro Hammock is about the 10 foot and Dutch wear I've got two options 10 foot or 11 foot for these winter socks and the summer socks and there is a second option is either with or without a zip and here's a zip it's a horizontal one and comes all the way up to the top there and about this far which will be just over three quarters of the way down but I normally have this at this point because my arms aren't long enough to reach all the way down there so this just makes it so much easier again in and out rather than having to under the end pull it pull it back over your head and do it up so that's what makes these summer socks really good and I like it So like I was saying about being able to pull this one over your head, let's get this done and show you the inside. Now this one opens all the way up. So if you don't want the sock on, you can just pull it all the way back. To the opposite end out of the way and now you can see the setup I've got on the inside this is the gear sling from sea to summit which I think if I remember right is about 1.5 by 1.5 meters so have a look so I guess no it's a little bit less it's about 1.2 by 1.2 I've been able to fit my 65 litre pack in there with my boots, with my jacket and water bottles and then all I've used on the inside is a ridgeline organiser which has got two pockets in one here, one here and then a third one which goes all the way through which is ideal for keeping your water bottle in as long as it doesn't leak and here is where I've attached my structural ridge line. All I did was bring it through this hole here from underneath, brought it over the buckle and pulled it here. Actually no I didn't, I put it through the top and brought it over and over the top. My mistake, sorry about that. I've come to my backup hammock is the Torrid Jungle Hammock is a nine foot hammock and the winter sock same as a summer sock is a 10 foot so there was a lot of material hanging down in my face when i was using it the other night and it just didn't feel nice at all being like that so i've ordered material a waterproof material i said i think i've said already and i'm going to make a custom one for the Torrid jungle hammock made to measure and have it a little bit deeper and this one at the moment oh and before i do that the reason i've put my pack at this end and i always put my pack or the heaviest parts on this side is that pushes the gear sling down which helps push 
the suspension strap to the gear sling away from the hammock so it's not going to be interfering or I won't be able to feel it on my back. Here we go, let's get this all put back. So there it is, my backup hammock. A bit of faffing around to get it right. And I hope you understood what, what I was attempting to explain and show you. And if it's been helpful and you've enjoyed this video, please go down below and click on the subscribe button and the bell notification next to that so you can be notified of all future videos. Click on the like button because the more likes I get, the better my channel can do and the higher up the list it will go. And to my subscribers already, again, I thank you very much. Every single view is appreciated. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care. Mm -hmm.